All right, I'm gonna show you a very simple strategy that you can use literally tomorrow to start making money. It's so easy, and it made me right here uh, $920 trading today. Okay, now, but listen, if you have been watching at least four of my YouTube videos, all right, if you've seen at least four of my YouTube videos, stick until the end, because I have a special surprise specifically for you. If you haven't seen more than four, that's okay, watch this, because it's gonna teach you a strategy that will make you a lot more money, and then you'll wanna keep coming back and watching more of my YouTube videos so you can keep on making more. But with that being said, stick until the end, because specifically for you guys that have seen me and been loyal to me, I got you. Now, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you exact entries, exits, plans of why I decided to trade OKTA, how much profit I made, the exact options, literally break down everything. Um, yes, it was literally five minutes of work, even though you know you could say, oh, well, Jordan, like if you're a sell here, target here, that took like an hour. No. Trust me, I'll break it down for you guys. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, here we are. OKTA, balance theory. What is balance theory? What is this trade? What are these lines? Why is this purple? What is going on? Let me go ahead and mark. Let me get rid of everything. Actually, I'm not going to keep it on there. All right, so what is balance theory? This is one of my strategies that I use. I use it in conjunction with supply and demand, which I'm sure you guys know. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into it. Now, balance theory, you know, stocks always do one or two things. They're either spiking up and trending or they're balancing they're ranging like this okay balance theory allows you to take advantage when a stock is doing something like this it's a very uh high percentage winning strategy it works extremely well i've back tested it i've created a strategy around it i'm going to show you exactly how you can do it today so you can see here on okta i have it drawn in purple but we've got a pretty clear balance you know kind of range going on here Right, you're able to identify this when you have a lot of clear support areas, a lot of clear resistance areas. So you can see we've been bouncing back and forth uh, for quite a while in this area. Okay, So you're able to identify that this is an area of range, this is an area of balance. Now, you may be thinking, Jordan, well, isn't that just plain support and resistance? No, it's completely different. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. Now, let's go ahead, let me draw this out. Right, we have our support, or sorry, our resistance support there. Okay, let's see these are the lines we're working with. And let's say OKTA is doing something like this. All right, we're bouncing in between. Maybe we dip out a little bit, something like this. Okay, now typically when price is doing this, it's pretty choppy. Okay, and because of that, you don't want to really trade options or you want to sell options, trade credit spreads. But let's break down the exact like why and how to get in and then go over the options part. So. What you want to wait for on OKTA or on any balance theory setup is you want to wait for price to break one of these sides, okay, either to the upside or either to the downside. Okay, So when price breaks a range, there's two things happening. right? We know in this area there's a lot of positions being built. Right? The more time that is spent in this area, the more volume there is, the more transactions that are happening. So a lot of shorts are getting in and a lot of you know, longs are getting in as well. So you have a lot of shorts, you have a lot of longs. Now. In this example, when price decides to finally break that high, okay, what's going to happen? Okay, a few things are going to happen. First thing is we've got to understand, right? There's a lot of retail traders, okay, and what they're going to do is they're going to be buying the breakout, okay. So you have a lot of buying momentum here, okay. A lot of people are going to be buying right as price breaks out, okay. You're also going to have another thing, which is shorts, right? A lot of shorts that are here, a lot of them are probably going to have their stops right above this high, okay. Again, classic support resistance, how a lot of people trade. They're probably going to have their stops right above this high. So when price starts to break out, the shorts need to cover. They have to buy their shares back in order to cover their position, which means more buying pressure. So as soon as price gets above this high, there is a lot of buying going on. Okay, a lot. So when you know that there's a lot of buying going on, what would you expect? you would expect price to continue to rip higher, right? But what happens if price just immediately dumps right after? Okay, now something's wrong, something is off, right? We, we just figured out there should be a ton of buyers going up. Price should be exploding out of this, just like every breakout that everybody knows about, right? But that doesn't happen. And when that doesn't happen, that's your sign, okay, something's up, maybe I should get short. And so this is the theory in play. The theory is that when we have a balance range, price fails to break out of one of the sides of balance and we come back inside of that balance zone, there's a strong chance that price is going to rotate to the other side of that balance zone. Okay, that's balance theory in a nutshell. Now, let's go over the trade and how I played it. 
So you can see here on OKTA, you know, if we just look at this part here, we have our nice little balance zone in purple, right? I could draw levels, but it's easier with a shaded purple zone. And you can see here, finally, price breaks out, okay? So price breaks out. Now, again, a lot of people are probably long here. A lot of people are buying this breakout. A lot of shorts are trapped. We get a little spike, and then we just immediately come back down, and we, we end up dipping all the way down here, okay? So one more thing I want to mention. Actually, this is very key. You got to understand the, the technique behind it. When price does come back inside, okay, remember what we just talked about? What is, what is going on in this area? A ton of buying, right? You have longs who are buying, you have shorts who are covering. So you have a ton of people who bought this breakout. When price comes back inside, what are they going to do? They're going to sell because they're wrong, they're scared, so they end up selling, okay? So that's going to drive price down even more. Okay, so if we go back here, we can see we get the breakout, there's no follow through, we go up like 50 cents. We end up coming back inside this balance zone, and then we just tank. Okay, we go from like 70, 70 and a half, down to 69, 69, 30. Okay, we tank. Once I saw that, I'm like, okay, now at this point, right, let me go ahead and draw this. At this point here, when price is down here, right, disregard all this extra price action, there is a strong chance in the back of my head that price is going to go down towards this 68, 69 area, down to this low down to this support area, right? That's the balance theory in play. So what am I thinking? Well, I want to look for a pullback to get a good risk reward, okay? Because like, let's think about this realistically, right? Let's say I know I want to put my stops above the high, right? That's, that's a logical stop. I know I want to put my targets down at this low. So I need to find a good area where I can get a decent risk reward. So what do I do? I combine it with supply and demand. I say, okay, we have a beautiful 15 minute supply zone right here. Let me look for a pullback to that supply zone, get short or get in puts, uh, put my stop above the high. So you can see the, the trade plan right here, got short right at the supply, we actually went right past it. Um, anyways, got short right at it, stop above the high, targeted right here at this low, and then targeted down at this low right here, this liquidity at 68, 68, okay? Ended up hitting that basically down to the bottom, uh, which is abnormal, okay? It doesn't usually happen, but today worked out pretty well. Um, so very, very simple. I know you're thinking, well, Jordan, you know, is that really a good risk reward? Well, let's look, right? I waited for my pullback, stop there, target there. Nice one-to-one -one risk reward. But Jordan, you need a two-to-one risk reward. You need a three-to-one risk reward. How are you gonna be profitable with just one-to-ones? It's just my strategy, all right? It works, I've back tested it, and it works. I tend to go for one-to-ones, one-to-one-and-a-halves. It works for me, okay? People who tell you that you need at least a 2R to be successful or whatever it is, it's not true, okay? You do not need that. Now, so first target, end up getting out half my size here, and then get out the, the remainder of the half down here at about a 1.6R trade, okay? Very, very easy, very simple trade. Now, how did I do this in five minutes? Well. Very simple. I was watching it open when price got in, or when price came up to 78.13, I got in my puts. I said, okay, perfect. I'm gonna put my stop for half here, put my target for half here, stop for the other half here, target for the other half here, and I walked away. Simple as that. I had no emotions during this entire trade. I didn't even know what was happening, okay? I literally went to the gym and worked out, and it, it ended up working out, right? That was, that was all that I did. I get in, I set my stop, I set my target, all, everything automated, and I, I just walked away. Very simple. That's how I do my trading. That's how I recommend you do your trading. So you're able to get rid of your emotions and trade using the chart. Very simple. Okay, that's exactly how you should be trading. Now, obviously, you can see what happened, right? You get a bunch of people who are long up here, right? And so what happens when people are long and they don't sell when price goes at their stop? They try and get out break even. So when price shoots up, everyone just gets out break even here. This is where you want to be shorting for that move down to the other side of the balance zone, which is exactly what happened, okay? This works on all time frames. It works on all stocks, all futures, everything, okay? Now, the one thing that I did, which I probably could have done better looking back at this trade, is I went in with, uh, I got the 70 strike puts uh, one week's out. So I got about at the money slash in the money a week out because uh, it was a, you know, I was expecting to be a swing trade, ended up being a day trade. 
Anyways, what I would have done better next time is probably get a credit spread, maybe sell the 71s, buy the 72s. That way I can take advantage of time decay, because like I said, with balance theory, it can be pretty choppy in between. So you need to be a little careful of how you trade them. Okay? This is not something that you want to be taking weeklies, not something you want to be taking um, you know, zero TTEs or way out of the money. It's definitely not what you want to do, because it can be a little choppy. It's great to just get in, set your stop, set your target, and walk away. Okay, so very, very simple, and ended up netting me about $900 today trading OKTA options, all right? Now, if you've been watching at least four of my YouTube videos, here's my message for you, okay? If you've been watching at least four of my YouTube videos and you are still not making money, you need to do something about it, okay? Because I have been putting out tons and tons of YouTube videos, tons of good strategies that actually work, the exact ones that I've been using, okay? And if you are still not making money, something is wrong, okay? Maybe it's your emotions, maybe it's the strategy, maybe it's your psychology, maybe it's risk management. There's a million things it could be. But there might be, sorry, there must be something wrong. Otherwise, if you're using my strategies, you should be making money. So if you're not, what I want you to do is click the link down below, the first link in the description, okay, and watch the video, okay? All I want you to do. And then at the end of the video, if you want, book a call with someone from my team, and you can join my private mentorship where I will guarantee that you're successful, okay? Simple as that. Now, if you haven't been watching more than four, go ahead, watch more of them, okay? I have a bunch of strategies, a bunch of strategies that actually work, okay? Because I've back tested them and I've been using them for the past three years to trade full time. Simple as that, all right? So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the first link in the description, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below other videos I should make. I'll see you guys in the next video.